putting it together. Nails. You'll need some nails and you'll need a hammer. I use uh, just an ordinary claw hammer. Claw hammer means that you can take the nails out if you make a mistake. How long should the nails be? Well, if you take some of the two thin pieces, two flat pieces, my nails were just a little bit thicker, longer than the thickness there. Now it doesn't matter that it sticks out proud of that because we're only ever going to put the nail into the thickness of a flat into something thicker. So here we are again. A nail with a flat head. How long should it be? Just a bit longer or round about the same size. If it's a bit shorter it doesn't matter than the thickness of two flats. It doesn't matter if it stands proud because it only ever goes into something thicker than that. Putting it together, making the sides. You need three long flat pieces and the two corner uprights. And do the same at the other end like that. Make sure the pieces are flat and flush and put a nail to fix it like that. Two nails per end of flat piece. So there's one nail, here's the second nail. So you have the three pieces nailed to one of the corner upright pieces. Move it along and do the same at the other end. So that each long flat has two nails in each end. And there we have it, we finished one of the sides. And of course, you need two of those. And here we are again. Three long flat pieces, they're the 90 centimeter pieces, and two square upright corner posts, they're the 35 centimeter pieces. You put the corner upright posts underneath the three long flats, and then two nails in each end and that's your side finish and of course you need two of those.